Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be my fall evening routine. I wanted to do this more vlog style where I like actually take you through what I'm doing this evening versus like staging me like walking into the bathroom and stuff. I don't know, it just seemed more natural to do it this way. So actually I just um, had a day of like interviewing and trying to get a job. So fingers crossed I'll hear back very, very soon. Um, that's why I'm kind of like dressed up. I went to a face-to-face -face interview today. Um, but now my brother and I are going to head to the gym. So I'm actually, oh and my darling little puppy came out. Hello baby boy. I'm leaving. Come inside. Hello. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to head to the gym now. So that's typically like the beginning of my evening because like all my makeup comes off at the gym. I take a shower at the gym and then I like change into like sweats and stuff um, just because I'm coming home. Um, but yeah, right now it's about like four-ish. So I'm going to go to the gym for about an hour, shower up, and then come home. So I will see you guys when I get home and then we'll kind of do my entire like nightly routine, I guess. Got a package in from Amazon. Um, I ordered a like a bathtub caddy tray. Wow. Um, so I'm going to just open that up before we go. I need to do dishes. Let's try it out. This is what it looks like in the front. Just a section for, I don't know, whatever, your wine glass, or no, your phone, which I don't know where mine is. An iPad or a book stand with little grooves inside, candle holder, like a wine area if you have it, and then a free soap holder. So let's go try this out. So it's definitely a little too big for my bathroom, um, but I plan on taking it upstairs to my mom's bathroom because she has like a standing bath that's not in a shower. Um, so I mean, I can still use this a lot because it just hangs over the side a little bit, which is fine. Just as long as this side doesn't fall or tip over. Okay, so it's the time of the month for me and I decided that I was gonna do some yoga. I'm gonna do some yoga for cramps. Um, I'm following a yoga by Adrian, Yoga with Adrian video, but I loved this move and I had to show you guys. So she took a big, she took a big body pillow and this is really, really like not supposed to be inappropriate at all, but she pretty much hiked it right underneath her crotch. I laid a, I laid a towel down my legs are like down i put a blanket over my feet and my feet are kind of laying like that laying a towel down and then i'm just doing child's pose but laying here and i'm telling you right now it feels so good honestly i could be like this pose i could be in this pose forever hopefully you guys can even hear me i don't even know <sighs> finished my session um, I'm gonna go take a shower now wash my face and everything um, see where my brother's at and then I think I'm gonna head home just got home now I just got home now from the gym and I took a shower at the gym as you saw um, I probably need to blow dry my hair because if I don't blow dry my hair like I get these crazy like bits of hair that stand up so I need to blow dry my hair I need to do the dishes um, and then I need to get ready for my mom to come home so that um, we can just kind of have dinner um, tonight Tonight I think I'm going to do a face mask. All I did when I got out of the gym was just moisturize with some of their Kiehl's lotion. 
Um, but I'm going to probably do a face mask. I need to read a chapter of my book. I need to also read another chapter from Isaiah because I'm following like a plan with me and my family. Uh, what else do I need to do tonight? I need to check my emails because I have a couple of things to follow up with. I'm probably going to drink a nice cup of tea. And then, um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to obviously eat dinner. Like I said, I want to walk my dog. If I can get it in after dinner, I would love to walk my dog. Uh, bub, 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 bub. I'm trying to think. It's just now 6 o'clock, so... We've got a few things that we need to do, so all that's left is to do them. I also need to clean my room and um, and do some laundry. So there's a few things I need to do today. This Monday has been super jam-packed. I think I might do like a hot pack on my stomach as well because it is that time of the month, as you guys saw in my workouts, which I'll, um, also I'll leave a link down below for the Yoga with Adrian um, yoga for cramps and PMS, I'll leave a link down below. It was amazing. Like it was so good. So I'll leave a link to that down below. But yeah, why don't we just go ahead and start washing our dishes. Okay, so I just blow dried my hair. I'm going to take my contacts out because they have been really irritating me. Um, I also finished doing the dishes. With my brother. I always get questions like is it hard to do things with um, like having long nails and stuff and honestly like I don't really think so because I'm so used to having long nails. For example like when I put lotion on or if I dip into anything like my eye cream I dip it with my finger underneath and I like wipe it this way um, with my contacts and stuff I'll just take out my contacts like this versus like this. These are the Rio Style by MVMT. Um, after my accident, I got these um, done and prescribed for me because um, my glasses broke and stuff. So I just got these. You can always get $15 off the website of MVMT with the code SEAMS15, S-E-A-M-S, 15, and you can get $15 off. So that's really nice if you like the style. I feel like it just, oh, it like dresses up my face a lot, which I really, really like. Looking at this again, I just walked into my bathroom and I'm looking at this again. I actually really like it. Uh, I'm gonna see what it looks like when I put like a book in here. Let's, let's see how it works. I'm not gonna use it tonight because I already washed up, but I just wanna see what it's like when you put like an iPad here. It's kinda nice. That's with an iPad on there. Let's see with a book on here. It is a little bit difficult with the book. I don't think it stays very well. I think I might need, um, I don't really know how I would hold this back. Yeah, this is a little bit hard. It's a little bit harder, but it's okay. I think with like clean hands, it should be fine. Um, I want to try, I want to try putting my phone in that little pocket there. I literally spent 10 minutes looking for my phone. As you guys know, my 50 facts about me, I lose my phone all the time. Ooh, okay, so this is something I don't like. If I were to be having a, if I were to, um, have a candle going here, I would not want my phone right here, because obviously it would, like, melt off. I don't like that. They should have put the candle thing here. Or the, yeah, the candle thing here, maybe the wine thing over there. That's just my thoughts. Because why would I want, why would I want, like, my candle thing burning my phone? But also, you know, I would, that's kind of nice when it slants to the side. If you were to watch a show or something. Can't do it back here. But I wish they made the angle a little bit more, like instead of back like that, like a little bit more forward maybe. Still pretty nice actually. If I were to have a wine glass, I would take, I would take this guy out because this thing comes out and, oh, you can't move it. I see. I'm like figuring this out with you guys. So you can take these two extra things out and then it becomes this whole situation and 
then you could slide the wine glass into here. I know it only takes a certain kind of wine glass, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm currently waiting for my mom to come home so that I can um, eat dinner, but I really need to clean my room, so I think I'm gonna do that before we eat dinner. I clean my room for the most part. I'm just listening to some um, quiet jazz on Amazon Music. And these are the three books I have next to my bedstand, my Bible, Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, and The Sacred Search that my boyfriend and I are both reading. Um, let's see, I've got the Sleep Bed Spray by Bath & Body Works. I really love this stuff so much. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about this night serum, but I'll tell you guys in just a little bit. I have my Apple Watch charging, my iPad charging, and Alexa obviously. This is all trash that needs to go. Okay, so it is that time of the night where I start to kind of pamper myself. I like to pamper myself every single night because honestly, like, why not, you know? I'd rather um, stay up a little bit later and like pamper myself. That's just me. Anyways, so tonight we're gonna do a face mask, like I said. Today, I think I wanna do, 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 do. I think I wanna try the Ethiopian, Eth Ethiopian, Eb. oh my goodness, I can't speak. Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask by The Body Shop. Um, now this, I heard, is very like, it's like honey, very thick, very um, kind of, oh yeah, sticky, hard to goop, put on the goopy. I feel like I should start buying some like face mask brushes from Amazon, so I think I might get some of those tonight. Um, but yeah, I think I want to try. I think I want to try this tonight. I'll also show you guys my nighttime skincare routine once I've removed all my makeup. Um, I do use Clinique Take the Day Off um, to remove my eye makeup if I have any. I tried the Bliss eye makeup remover didn't really get down very far because I hated this stuff, it's really bad. And then um, the face halo is another thing that I use to remove like more of my face makeup. If you guys didn't know, I don't think I announced this on my YouTube channel, but um, I am now a bath, bath and body, body shop, sorry. I am a body shop um, ambassador for the Century City store in LA in Los Angeles. I'm gonna just turn you guys this way a little bit. Um, so I'm now a ambassador for the body shop, which is super exciting. Um, I just, I really am excited to work with them and I think it's a great opportunity. Um, I just washed my hands with some Irish Spring soap. That stuff just, it smells so like nostalgic, like clean, I feel like. Um, I do have a couple of breakouts, it's just because it's that time of the month. I imagine I'm supposed to apply this on a clean, dry face. Uh, just as avoid the very... I totally threw this box away. Just gonna go with it. By the way, I am starting my, like, Mederma treatment. I was thinking I should do, like, like a review on Mederma and how it works for my face. Um, because I do have this like little scar here, so I think I'm gonna do that. If you're interested in seeing my Mederma review and see how that product works for scars, then um, just leave me a comment saying that you want that. This product is like super goopy. Smells, smells not like honey. <laughs> um, and it's kind of a very like thin formula. Obviously, it's like a very watery gel consistency compared to most most face masks. I don't I don't care for the smell, really, to be honest. Out of the three face masks that I tried from um, the body shop, get around the nose. I kind of like stay away from my scar area. I really hope this does not get in my hair, and then I have like sticky hair. It's a thing with face masks. I definitely need like a headband of some sort and some more clips oh, wow i need i have a couple of things i need to buy on amazon feeling a slight sensation above my lip but i also think that's because i have a lot of product on there i will say the one thing i really do not like about this mask is this let me zoom you guys in do you see all that hair 
stuck to my face. I really do not like that. It's a cute little close up. <laughs> so I just rinsed the mask off. I did zoom up a little bit so you guys can see my skin. I'm going to take my tea tree skin clarifying toner by the body shop on a cotton pad. I also wanted to mention that the pads that I sleep with, now I know like we're going really TMI right now, but the pads that I sleep with are these kind from Always and they open up like three times and then they've got like wings in the um, in the very back side of it, like flip, it flips open like this and it just catches anything while you're sleeping. Um, there's been a lot of times in my life personally that I just needed that extra wing in the back. So those have been a lifesaver for me. Then the thing that I go into right away is my eye cream. And the trick with the eye cream is to really just pat it in. So you really just want to pat that in there. I'm going to go in with my night cream moisturizer. This is the Vanilla Co. Water Plus. I don't know. This is the hydration boosting cream. So just going to take some of this. And this stuff leaves my skin feeling so plump and supple in the morning, which I love. So you just go in. Tap that in your face. And then if I do have any zits, I do go in with my Tekka Barrier Cream and I put that on top. For any active zits, I do put on a little bit of benzoyl peroxide. Okie dokie. And then last but not least, the thing I wanted to show you guys is this Moonlit Skin Care, this um, serum. It's like an overnight face oil. Now, I've only used it last night because I got it like literally just recently but it pretty much is lavender oil and some other essential oils and you literally just put this on your face and it's supposed to make you sleep better and it's cruelty free and vegan it's just supposed to make you fall asleep way better at night time so I do put the um what is it called? I do put the face, the eye mask on over this. I forgot to mention my jade roller. So I recently got a jade roller. This is the one from Amazon. It's just the Danielle Creations Jade Dual Sided Roller. And I just go in and I roll upwards. Mm -hmm. 